to our special Christmas club and we are so excited to see you. Are you excited to see all the boys and girls, Charlie? Yeah, and I'm so excited and everybody, it's nearly Christmas! Yeah, it's nearly Christmas and I can't wait because I love Christmas. Me too! I love the presents, I love the turkey, I love the pudding, I love everything. I even love, because because before Christmas Eve, I go and see my daddy and granddad. And I get blow presents, and I get loads. It's a, I love Christmas! Wow, Charlie, you really do love Christmas, don't yeah. you? You really do. So how many days is it to Christmas now? Do you know? Have you been counting down the days? Do you know how many sleeps it is to Christmas, Charlie? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe I could look at my advent calendar. <gasps> Was this your advent calendar? Yeah. I wonder, do you have an advent calendar at home? And what do you do with it, Charlie? Each day I open the door and there's a piece of chocolate inside. No way, a piece of chocolate? Yeah, and I eat it before school. <gasps> you eat the chocolate at breakfast time? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I wonder, do you do that too? Do you open your advent calendar first thing in the morning? Do you eat the chocolate before you go to school? So what are we going to do now, Charlie? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, I think we should sing a song. What do you think? Yeah, let's sing a song. Yes, so our very first song is called It's Christmas. Yay! Are you ready to sing along? Yeah. Are you ready to sing? Yeah. Let's hear you sing from your house just where you are. Let's sing It's Christmas. Yeah. Yay!
got a joke for you. Why are Christmas trees bad at sewing? You know, they always drop their needles. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it, Charlie? Yeah! It was great fun. What's that you've got in your hand, Charlie? It's a candy cane. It's a very big candy cane. Are you going to eat that whole candy cane by yourself? Um, no. Because it isn't real. <gasps> it's not real? No, it's only plastic. I wonder, have you seen a candy cane that big before? Oh, yeah, and there's real ones on the Christmas tree. Are there? Yeah. So there are. I wonder how many candy canes can you see on the Christmas tree? How many are there, Charlie? Five. That's right, there are five candy canes on the Christmas tree. Did you get them all? I love candy canes. Do you love candy canes? Do you know the candy cane tells us a very important story? Really? It does. And it all starts with this. Do you know what this is? A J. That's right, it's a J. And at Christmas time, who do we remember that has the name beginning with J? Mm. Do you know? Mm. Do you know, Charlie? Oh yeah, Jesus. That's right, it's Jesus. Jesus, who is the saviour of the whole world. And do you know that the name Jesus means saviour? Really? Yes, because it says in the Bible that Jesus will save the people from their sins. Mmm. Yes. Do you know what colours are on the candy cane, Charlie? White, red and green. That's right, there is white, red and green. And you know, the white part of the candy cane reminds me of Jesus. Jesus is pure because he is perfect, he is sinless. What does that mean, do you think? What do you think that means, Charlie? Sinless. It means you have no sin. That's right. Jesus had no sin. He is perfect. He never ever did anything wrong. He never sinned against God. He is perfect. Is Jesus like us, Charlie? No. Nope. No, because we do sin. Everyone born into this world sins against God. And the next colour of the candy cane also reminds me of Jesus. It's the red colour. I wonder, do you know why that would remind me of Jesus? What do you think? Because of Jesus' blood. That's right, it reminds us of Jesus because the red colour reminds us of how Jesus bled and died. And Jesus died on the cross at Calvary. Do you know why he did that? Do you know, Charlie? To save us from our sins. Yes. He was being punished for your sin and for my sin. He was being punished for the sins of everyone in the whole world so that he could save us from sin. Jesus is the only one who can save you from sin. But the good news is that Jesus didn't stay dead because how many days later did Jesus rise again from the dead? Do you know? Do you remember? Three days later! That's right, it was three days later and Jesus is still alive today and he lives in heaven. And he's still the saviour of the world. And you know what? Jesus wants to be your shepherd. This candy cane reminds me of a shepherd's staff. He uses it to take care of his sheep. That's right, he does. Because if the little sheep gets in danger, he can use this to rescue the sheep. He can use it to protect the sheep against wild animals and wolves. And the Lord Jesus Christ wants to be your shepherd. He wants to take care of you. He wants to protect you. He wants you to belong to him. And he can forgive you for all of your sins. Isn't that wonderful, Charlie? Yeah! And when you have all of your sins forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ, then you will be one of his sheep and he will be your shepherd. He is the great shepherd. So what other color is left on our candy cane? Green! Green, you're right. It's the color green. And green reminds me of things that grow. Like grass, mm -hmm. trees, yeah, flowers, yeah, yeah, lots of things that grow are green. And the Lord Jesus Christ wants you to grow to be more like Him. When you belong to Him, when you know that all of your sins are forgiven because you've asked Him to be your Savior, then He wants you to grow. So how can you grow to be more like the Lord Jesus? Do you know, Charlie? You have to pray. Yes, you can pray and talk to Him. 
you can read the Bible. Yes. And you can tell people. That's right, you can tell people about Jesus and you can go to church and you can watch Good News Club and go to Good News Club. There are lots of ways that you can grow to be more like Jesus. So the next time that you look at your candy cane, you remember all the different things that we mentioned about Jesus. Will you be able to remember? Yeah, I remember the candy cane because I've got this sitting in my bedroom. Wow! Yeah! Because you love candy canes so much. Yeah! That's right. And do you know what candy canes are made out of? Hmm, candy. Candy, they're made out of rock. You know that rock that you get at the seaside? Yeah. Yeah, it reminds us as well of Jesus because Jesus is the rock. Hmm. Amazing. There's so many things about the candy cane that remind us of Jesus. Okay, we better go, Charlie. Yeah, there's loads of more things to watch. There is. Lots more to do at Good News Club. Okay. From heaven to a manger The hope of the world alive For all mankind All of the earth rejoice It's Christmas time So lift up your voice and sing Well, that was a really exciting song, wasn't it, Charlie? Yeah! It's amazing that we can sing about Christmas and sing about the Lord Jesus Christ, who's the saviour of the whole world. It's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing! It really is. And now we're going to hear a little bit about the Christmas story. And I want you to listen really carefully because I want you to tell me how many different people worshipped God in our story today. Do you think you'll be able to do that? Wow, okay. So, Charlie's listening really carefully. I hope you're going to listen really carefully too and watch our story. Are you all excited for Christmas time? Can you not wait until Christmas Day? 
You know, what's the most important thing for you about Christmas? Maybe for you, it might be the Christmas tree and you like all the decorations on it. Maybe for you as well, you like all the decorations that you see around your home or maybe sometimes outside as well. Or I wonder for you is the most important thing about the food. Maybe you love the Christmas dinner. Maybe you love all the treats and all the chocolates that you might receive at Christmas time. Or I wonder for you is the most important thing about the gifts and the presents. Maybe the new toys that you might receive at Christmas time. You know, on our screen here today, we have a picture frame. But you know, the picture frame is not the main thing that we have on our picture. But there's something missing. You see, a picture frame highlights what's in the centre of the picture. And there's something missing in this picture. And that's just like boys and girls for so many at Christmas time. You know, they celebrate Christmas for the food, for the decorations, for the presents. But they miss the main reason for Christmas. Let's discover what's the most important thing about Christmas. Mary was a young woman who lived in Nazareth. She was engaged to a man called Joseph that they were going to get married. But one day when she was working in her home, all of a sudden there was a bright light and there was an angel appeared to Mary. His name was called Gabriel. I'm sure Mary was very afraid. But this is what the angel said. Let's read it from God's word. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. You know, this angel brought a message to Mary that she was going to have a son. And this son that she was going to have was going to be called Jesus. Many years ago, God had told that he was going to send a saviour into the world. And now this was God's timing to keep his promise, that he was going to send the Lord Jesus to be the saviour of the world. So why did God have to send a saviour? That's because of the problem of sin that is in this world. And that's the problem that each one of us have in our lives as well. Because the Bible says that we have all have sinned and have fallen short of God's standard. And because of that sin, we deserve to be punished and to be separated from God. But because God loves each one of us, and because God loved the world, it says that he sent his only son, the Lord Jesus. The Bible says whenever the angel left Mary, that Mary rejoiced and she worshipped the Lord. And you see, boys and girls, that's what God wants us to do at this Christmas time, is to give him worship and to give him praise because he sent the Lord Jesus to be the saviour of the world. Just before Jesus was going to be born, the Bible says that the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus said that the whole world had to be taxed. So everyone had to go to their family place of birth. So this meant that Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem. I'm sure it was a long journey for Mary and Joseph to travel to Bethlehem. But this is what God had promised already in the Bible. It says that the Saviour of the world would be born in Bethlehem. I'm sure they were really tired, but they found out that the family home was already full, that there was no more room for them to stay. You see, in each family home there would have been a guest room for visitors, but that guest room already was full as well. But you know, instead of turning Mary and Joseph away, it says that they allowed them to stay in their stable. This was where all the animals were kept. I'm sure Mary and Joseph were so glad just to somewhere where they were able to rest after their long journey. You know, very soon after, the Bible says that Mary gave birth to her son. It says that she wrapped the little baby in cloths and laid him in a manger. You know, this was the saviour of the world. You know, that night when the Lord Jesus was born in that stable, something happened out on the hillside. And that was with the shepherds. 
It says that the shepherds were out minding their sheep at night time to protect them and look after them. And there was an angel appeared to the shepherds, and this is what he said to them. It says, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. Then all of suddenly that there was a multitude of angels in the sky, and they began to sing and began to worship God. And this is what they sung. It says, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he is pleased. No, they began to worship God, because the Saviour of the world was born now in Bethlehem. So not only have we seen Mary worshipping the Lord, but now we have seen the angels worshipping the Lord as well because of the Lord Jesus being born. You know, whenever the shepherds heard this good news, they immediately left their sheep to go and to see the Saviour of the world. You know, whenever the shepherds arrived in the stable, sure enough, what the angel told them was true. There was the little baby that was born. You know, the shepherds worshipped the Lord Jesus, knowing that he was the saviour of the world. Knowing that God had kept his promise and sent the Lord Jesus into this world so that one day that he would go to a cross, so that one day that he would be punished because of the problem of sin. But not only was the Lord Jesus punished, but it says, boys and girls, that the Lord Jesus rose again three days later. And that's why the Lord Jesus is able to be the saviour of the world. I wonder at this Christmas time, is the Lord Jesus your saviour? Have you asked him to forgive you for your sin? Because of what he has done for you in dying on the cross and taking that punishment for you. No, the Lord Jesus can be your saviour today. The Bible says, boys and girls, whenever the shepherds left the stable, it says everywhere they want, they began to share this good news with others because they wanted other people to hear about the good news that the Lord Jesus was the saviour of the world. And you know, that's the same boys and girls for us. God wants us to tell our friends, to tell our family, to tell everyone that we come in contact with that the Lord Jesus is the saviour of the world, that Christmas is not about all the toys, about all the gifts, about all the food and the presents and the decorations, but it's all about the Lord Jesus. And God wants us to worship him at this Christmas time. The shepherds came to see the baby Stood by his mother's side here lay the Savior inside a manger Oh, what a glorious night Oh, what a glorious night I hear the angels sing Hallelujah, let the earth receive her King I know the love has come Sing it Yeah.
quiet, a star shining in the sky. Below in Bethlehem, the king is sleeping. Oh, what a glorious night! Oh, what a glorious night! Not long after that, when the Lord Jesus was born, it says he was taken to the temple. And there they met a man called Simeon and another lady called Anna. And both of them worshipped the Lord Jesus as well because they realised that he was the saviour of the world. You see, God wants everybody to know that this was his promise, that this was his son and that Jesus is the saviour of the world. The Bible also tells us that there was a star appeared in the sky as well. We don't know very much about the star. We don't know when it appeared. But one thing we do know, it says that these wise men who lived in the east, they realised that a king was born. They realised that someone very important was born in the world and they wanted to go and to worship this new king. The Bible says that the wise men thought a new king would be born in the capital city. So it says that they went to Jerusalem to look for this new king. We don't know how long the wise men had to travel. We don't know what country they're from. We just know that they were from the east and they probably maybe had to travel on camel and by working. So it would have taken a long time to travel. When the wise men reached Jerusalem, they met King Herod and they asked that they've come to worship the new king that was born. But Herod didn't know anything about it. But whenever he asked his wise men, it says that they come back and told him, yes, that in the Bible, it told them that there's going to be a king that would be born in Bethlehem. This King Herod was very angry because he didn't want a new king taking over his throne. But in disguise, it says that he went to the wise men and he says, whenever you go to Bethlehem and find this new king, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him as well. But King Herod didn't really want to worship this new king. He wanted to kill him. So the wise men set off and eventually they arrived in Bethlehem. The Bible does say that now when the wise men arrived that the Lord Jesus was in a house. And it also says that the wise men visited a child. That Jesus was no longer a baby. So we don't know how long time had passed. But we do know. That the wise men, whenever they came, they fell down and worshipped the Lord Jesus. They realised this child who was called Jesus was going to be the saviour of the world. I know sometimes we think that there was three wise men. But the Bible just tells us that there was three gifts that they brought to the Lord Jesus. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. We've looked at so many pictures already about Christmas time. But you know, the most important picture is this one, because Christmas is all about Jesus, because it reminds us how God loved the world, that he sent the Lord Jesus to be the saviour, how the Lord Jesus left heaven and came into this world as a little baby. He lived a perfect life and then the Lord Jesus was punished on a cross, not only for my sins, but for your sins and the sins of the whole world. But the Lord Jesus didn't stay dead. The Lord Jesus is alive today. And that's why he can be the saviour of the world. I wonder, is the Lord Jesus your saviour today? Now I'm sure you'll receive many gifts at Christmas time. But the best gift that anyone can receive is the Lord Jesus to be their saviour. To have their sin forgiven and to be part of God's family. I wonder, will you turn away from your sin? And trust in the Lord Jesus at this Christmas time. Maybe you already have trusted in the Lord Jesus. That's wonderful. That's great news. And you know God wants you to be like Mary. To be like the shepherds. To be like Simeon and Anna. And to be like the wise men. Is to worship and to give God the praise and the glory. That the Lord Jesus is the saviour of the world. So at this Christmas time, among all the different things that we might do, that we will give God the praise, that we would worship him, 
and give him the glory because the Lord Jesus is the saviour of the world and that the Lord Jesus is your saviour. Why not tell others about this gift that they might have the greatest gift of all and to have the Lord Jesus as their saviour at this Christmas time? Wow, that was an amazing story, wasn't it? To think that the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, came from heaven to earth, that he was born as a tiny baby, and he's the saviour of the whole world. Oh, yeah, and what about the people? He said in our story to look out for. <gasps> You're right, Charlie. Were you watching? Were you listening? Who in our story today worshipped God? Do you know? Do you know, Charlie, who's worshipping God in our story today? We have Mary, mm. angels, mm -hmm. wise men, Simeon, shepherds, Anna. And the angels? Oh, yeah, angels. Oh, and my glasses are falling off. <laughs> yes, they are, Charlie. Hold on till I fix your glasses. Thank you. Thank you. So there were lots of different people who worshipped God in our story today. Did you get all those different people? I wonder, do you worship God? You could worship God too at this Christmas time and thank him and praise him for sending the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you know the Lord Jesus Christ is your saviour, then you can worship him as your saviour. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah! It really is. I wonder what's going to happen next. I'm not sure either. I don't know either. I've got another joke for you. What's the wettest animal? A reindeer. <laughs> it's our quiz time. Question one. What did the angel Gabriel tell Murray? Question two. Who came to worship Jesus, the Saviour of the world? Question 3. How can you have Jesus as your Saviour? Our next joke is... What do reindeers hang on their Christmas trees? Do you know? Hornaments. <laughs> Happy Christmas! Well, we really hope that you've enjoyed our Christmas club today. Did you have fun, Charlie? Yeah, I had loads of fun! Oh, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah! Yeah! So, we want you to have a really, really special Christmas. Don't we, Charlie? Yeah! We want all the boys and girls to have a really special Christmas. And you remember that Jesus is the saviour of the whole world. Yeah! That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it just be so amazing? Yeah, it would be amazing! Yes, if you had the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour this Christmas. <gasps> yeah! Yes, and you know what? That would bring you lots of joy. And you can have joy this Christmas if you have the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour. You can have joy. J-O-Y! Joy! You can have joy this Christmas. We hope that you have a really wonderful Christmas, don't we, Charlie? Yeah! Happy New Year! Yes! So have a great Christmas and have a Happy New Year. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Bye! Bye.